Well, self-expression is found in many things. One of the best ways schools provide students with this ability, though, is when they're with, through the arts that are offered. Brainerd High School helped distance learners achieve this by sending them their own sculpting kits. With more on that, in tonight's Golden Apple, here's Chris Burns. Mr. Jensen and I put together 150 pottery kits and each kit contained a bag of clay that weighed about 10 pounds and they got their own little set of pottery tools. Now that the students had their equipment, it was time for class. Because students would be looking at a screen all day for other classes, Anderson wanted to make her class a little different. Lots of eye movies because if you demonstrate online with them, they tend to get bored easy. So a lot of the times they would watch the video with you and then they would work um, while you were working on your project too. To make sure all students were understanding all the ins and outs of sculpting, the art teachers would set up different show and tells to help students apply what they had learned into a project. When they would finish a project, so like if they finished, um, say this little frog here, they would do something called a flip grid and they would show it to us from all angles, um, describing what they liked about it, what they didn't like about it, what worked well for them, and know if they were catching on or not. Fast forward to when students were allowed to return to in-person learning, and after all that time at home with no connections to teacher or friends, it felt like the first day of school all over again. I think they had a lot of anxiety um, just because they had gotten so used to being at home. But art has a way of letting people express themselves, and once they started creating, walls of anxiety came down. Art is one of those rooms where kids really feel like they can breathe, and they can relax and they can um, get into their artwork but also see the people around them and be able to talk with them and I just feel like that put a lot of anxiety at rest for them. Anderson says it's very rewarding for her and her students to see their hard work and self-expression come to life. For this week's Golden Apple in Brainerd, Chris Burns, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.